The death of a spouse brings tragedy that crumbles the world of the surviving maids. Most vulnerable are women. It comes unannounced and at times so sudden. A once happy glowing face or family becomes dejected and frustrated, deprived of hope and happiness. The experiences of the victims appear unimaginable. I've been a, a widow for 20 years. I have four boys. For me, my husband said I should stay. No work. I should not work. That he is a man. He will be able to take care of me and the children. Eventually, he died. Today, I don't have any graduate because this were too difficult. I am 24 years as a widow and I have four boys. My first son was 10 years old when my husband died. My last baby was two years. He didn't even know his father. So when it comes to the issue of widow, there is a stigma that people attach to widows and they don't know that it can happen to every person. Every woman is a potential widow and every man is a potential widower. On the role and perception of the society towards widows, the story seems not to have changed much. I am the person that used to have so many friends. In fact, we have so many family friends, so many of them. But as soon as my husband died, as soon as they heard about his death, everybody, I turned a liability to somebody. And these are the people that we used to dine and wine together. So a widow is not an easy thing. Especially widows in Nigeria are really dying, they are suffering. They are suffering that nobody helps, especially when your husband died. Both your sisters, your brothers, your relations, they leave you. The culture, honestly, there are cultures that are really bad in Africa generally, okay. most especially in Nigeria, against widows. And so, interventions such as these are designed to ameliorate the hardships that widows go through, considering the current economic realities. Because a lot of them, you know, some of them has even undergone so many schemes. And then mostly again on the area of agriculture, most of these women are hard working. But we are asking even the government, even through the water resources, if they can even get a land where these widows will have to farm. Investigation has it that Nigeria accounts for over 8 million widows from the global statistics of 258 million, according to the United Nations. Hence, the reason behind stipulating 23rd of June every year as International Widows Day to galvanize support to end the plights of widows and their children. The theme for this year is accelerating the achievements of gender equality with emphasis on strengthening land and property rights of widows.